to shout. You can even talk about me, but I'm still his child. It was a rough draft, guys. It was very, very rough. We've been singing all weekend, so please forgive me. Good evening. My name is Dr. Herbert Johnson, and I am the choir director at Sumter High School, and I'm also part-time assistant professor here at Morris College. Good evening. My name is Alexander Jackson. I am 23 years old. I am currently a senior here at Morris College, and I'm also one of the assistant directors for the Morris College choirs. I eventually I ended up going to Lakewood the year of 2017, somewhere around there. And uh, I came in contact uh, with Mr. Johnson in the hallway. From there, he was just letting me know, like, you know, just come to the choir room, you know, I'll audition you and see, you know, where I can put you in the choir. And from there, I've been there ever since. I wasn't the best singer at the time. Honestly, I was not the best singer at the time. But Mr. Johnson, he uh, helped mold and shape me into the singer that I am today. God is in music, and that's why music is in each of us, and music is in me. When you ask yourself, what am I good at? What am I passionate about? And what can make me money for a living? Then that's the career you need to pursue. And music was it for me. conquered something that a lot of uh, black students are scared to conquer as far as uh, stepping into their purpose of whatever, not just music. Uh, I didn't really didn't know what it took to be a leader at the time um, because I was you know, just fresh into choir, that's all I knew. Um, I was just happy to be a part of the choir, nothing else. I didn't even want to lead, um, but Mr. Johnson saw this servant leadership in me and trusted me with it. Um, over five years ago and still trusting me today. And I'm just grateful, you know, that you chose me and you know, you still trust me. You know that from one director to another, I'm super proud of you, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it, sir. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Appreciate you. I thought you would never ask. You smell nice. To be fair, there were multiple people in the family that had told me that um, I wouldn't be able to build a career off of theater and the performing arts, except my aunt. Yeah. She is my number one supporter. My name is Bree Gray and I am 27 years old and I am a board member here at the Sumter Little Theater. My name is Mariah McIntosh. I am 16 and I'm a youth actress at the SMT Sorry, Theater. I get like this at night. You seem very nice. <laughs> hey, sister. Um, I mean, you would call me and we were talking about doing this interview and then you were like, and then there's a young actress named Mariah. And I'm like, that's my niece. <laughs> like, um, when she got so involved at the theater here, it was emotional watching her get so entrenched in the community that I grew up in and making her own place and her own connection with people. You, you know, they're crying. I know, I'm <laughs> already starting. This is my passion. I love being on that stage, the thrill, the adrenaline. It's such a rushing feeling and I can't lie, I despise the practices and the hours leading up to that moment. But as soon as I'm on that stage, the only thing I can think about is becoming that character. I can forget any other problems that are happening, any other worries, stresses, and I am a different person on that stage. There does come a point where you have to, um, you know, focus in on the craft of theater and the craft of acting and character building. I think that once you get to that, once you get some of that training, your talent's gonna go even beyond what you think you're capable of. Please.
please know we have your best interest at heart. And I personally have been through a lot of the things you will go through as a young actress. I love you. Oh, I just did my makeup! And I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> <laughs>the Crestwood believe it or not God himself actually told me <laughs> my name is Alik Harding uh, I'm 53 years old um, I teach ceramics one and two 3d design one and two visual arts one hi I'm Mackenzie Randall um, I am in 11th grade and I'm 17 years old I was raised in a, house, a household that was filled with, you know, artists and creativity. My dad's a tattoo artist. My mom, while not having art as her job at the moment, does find a passion and happiness in art. I was a photographer at a nightclub called Club Flavor in Fayetteville, North Carolina. But the nightlife didn't suit me. At night, you have to worry about your equipment, your safety, shady people, dealing with money by shady people, owners. And that got tiresome. And when I got a chance to get a stable, stable employment, I was like, okay, let me try this and see how it is. And I fell in love with it. Working with young people, um, being creative, and inspiring others. So that's how I got started. I love what I do, and I've been here since 2004. I worked on the piece of the mural with Whitney Houston in it. Um, he approached me with the idea to cover it up from another artist because he didn't particularly like the version that she did. It wasn't working at all. And so he came to me after I showed him a sketch in my sketchbook of a statuette that I did that I looked up online, which was in pencil. Whitney Houston is also done in charcoal. Uh, which is kind of the same thing to me. So it was a very comfortable medium for me to work in, just on a different surface and a bigger surface. So it was pretty easy. But she was more than happy to work with it, and I'm so glad um, I, um, I, she, she did it because she did an excellent job. It's, it's, it, it, you see for yourself. <laughs> like the nose bridge and her teeth because with the before it was covered up the teeth were very defined like line by line i just decided to do a piece of just mostly gums and maybe a little bit of lines of her teeth mm -hmm. and i had it be mostly shading so then um, it could actually look realistic and then, like i said you helped me in a lot of ways you kind of became almost this father figure to me in a way somewhat um in which you have helped me get up there in art. You've helped me be able to push myself. And you've also helped me just become better. I appreciate that. Um, you've been a model student. Um, what I strive, if I have a bunch of y'all, like 10 of y'all, okay, that's perfect class, a bunch of McKenzie's. Um, but um, as far as students go, you're up there with the elite students that I've had over the years and I've been teaching few years in North Carolina as well as here. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's top notch. So I know you're gonna do great things in life when it comes to art or if anything else you want to pursue. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. You get a hug, you get a hug, you get a hug. Thank you. I appreciate it.